G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna go again with the beach paw. Um, first one I did, you know, with the swipe and a spin, that's what I'm talking about. Um, I just felt that I didn't get enough lacing and my colors didn't blend very much. And then the second one I did, I lost all my um, aqua and it was really brown and blue. So now I'm gonna go again. I'm not going to go through everything again, but you can watch the others. Um, I've been starting to put those little eyes, as in the letter I, in the top uh, right-hand corner of my videos. Um, and that will link you to um, another video. So I'll link my previous one. So that you can go back and watch that one if you want to then you know what i'm talking about now my first swipe i didn't have very much of a pillow which is this white paint here um, and the in the first video the one that i'm linking um, it'll tell you everything that i've used the colors the pouring medium etc etc so you can go back and watch that um, yeah i didn't have very much of this pillow you see so when my um, turntable when i spun it the paint it didn't have anywhere to go because underneath was quite thin so this time i'm making it a little bit thicker um, and that should uh, keep my lacing and everything a little bit bigger it's hard to explain but if this bottom layer is nice and thick then the top layer can move around and stretch if the bottom layer is really thin then the top paint's got nowhere to go because the bottom's not moving. Does that make sense to you? Let me just level this off. I think that's about right. Okay. Give it a little bit of a spin there just to even everything up. <laughs> Look at me, covered in paint again. Oh, let me get some of that off the corner. Uh, onto the corner there there we go right now my colors uh where's my cell activator i haven't even got it out yet two to one. Oh, i haven't got much left two to one oh, i might have to make up some more actually hmm hang on i'm gonna have to go and make up some more I made up some more. I've actually made it thicker. I made it one to one. I've just popped it in here. It's still really thin. I mean, it leaves a mound though. Um, let's see what happens when I make it a bit thicker. Hey, maybe it'll stick to my palette knife a little bit easier. Righto. Um, now I'm just going to put a little bit of Payne's Grey on. That can be the water and that can be the beach. And I think what I need to do is maybe layer them on top of each other. Now, I haven't got much of the navy. That's why I'm using the, the Payne's Grey as well. See? <laughs> Not much left. Okay, that's that one done. And then we've got... Oh, I've thrown this in as well. A little bit of teal. Just a bit of teal, a little pop of teal. Nurses will get that. And our turquoise blue. And then, oh, the lid just fell off. And then the aqua. Okay, that's the ocean side. Now the brown side. Can't see where I'm going. My hand's in the way. This is a little bit more of a sort of an orangey brown. I don't know what it is. I just found it in my little box of paints. Probably something I mixed myself. 
and then this one that's the one I told you about in the last video a brownish beachish color probably need a bit more of that one and then I haven't got much of this left this pale sandy one I'm just going to see how, because the last video I layered the colours next to each other, but these are more overlapping, so we'll see how that goes. Put a little bit through there. I know, you're empty, aren't you? I know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my cell activator, the white, just on here, and then I'm going to dip my little spatula in or palette knife and then I'm gonna swipe but I think I'm gonna do a little bit of white just first just between the blue and the brown a so I can see where I'm going and B I'll have a little bit more of like a white frothy edge sort of a thing where the two join, a little bit of white. All right, I'm gonna pour the white onto my plastic. You can't see it because it's off camera, but there it is. And I'm just gonna dip that in. So it's nice and thick because I've made it one-to-one. -one, so it's coating that really nicely. Now let's swipe with the blue. Decent amount of pressure because you want the colour to get right to the bottom. Now you need to wipe that off. I know it's a bit of a waste, but it's got other colours in it and it's got the pillow paint in it. So it does need to be wiped off. Look at that. Cells for miles. Actually, it's not cells, they're lacing. Totally different creature. I'm going to pour a little bit more white on. I, st I think I still use quite a lot of white, but it's on here rather than disappearing, like sinking, you know. Okay. Because when I used to just pour the white straight on, it just sunk and lost it all. This um, one... One to one seems to be working quite nicely, the ratio. Now, don't put too much pressure on your paint. You just need enough to push your paints down um, to the end. If you put too much pressure on it, what you'll do is you'll have no white over the top. You'll just have lots of colour. I can't reach that there. The um, side of the doggy pulls in the way might have pushed a bit hard here that's what I wanted more white might have pushed a little bit hard on that side not sure yet all right now pour some more white out and I oh, see now it's disappearing anyway the thinner you have your I better leave it there because I'm going to swipe away from me the thinner you have your cell activator um, the sort of thinner your lacing is going to be. And uh, you might not even notice your lacing. You know, if it gets too thin, it might just dissolve away and you might not even notice it. Oi! Fly, go away! Oh, they love the smell of paint. Now you're just sitting on the side there, laughing at me, aren't you? All right, I'm going to try and pick up some of that blue in there. That's a bit, bit much there. Let's see if I can pick some of that up. And go this way. Just gently... Pushing the white over the top of the other colours. Don't want to push too hard. It's not looking, oh, I was going to say it's not looking a lot different to the first one, but 
the colours are blending better. I can see that they are blending better because the other one I had like that little tiny strip of dark and then I had another strip of the other colour. But this is more, it certainly is more blended, isn't it? Which is what I was after. I was hoping that the lacing would be bigger. Oh, no, I haven't spun yet. That's all right. Hopefully my lacing will be bigger when I spin. It should do. I've got enough pillow paint on there for it to um, stretch, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Is that enough? I'm a bit concerned about that big blob there because once that spins, um, small blob is going to be turning into a big blob, isn't it? Mm hmm. And this is my brown side. I wonder if I can put a little bit of brown there. I'm going to have to try and swipe that area again. Come on. There you go. Um, now, I don't want to use such a big palette knife. What can I use? What can I use? If I can use it that way, no. See, I need something that's little, but that big. Um, 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 um. It's tricky now, isn't it? Mm. I've got my little guy. Maybe I'll just have to use him. All right, I'll use him. Put some white on there. And... There we go. Oh dear. I was trying not to touch that bit, you see. Okay. That's going to be a problem. Just going to have to swipe again and hope for the best. Hopefully I haven't ruined it. Hopefully I haven't ruined it. There's a lot of white there. Oh my gosh, I think I've ruined it. There's a lot of white just there. I don't know whether that's cell activator or whether that's pillow. Mm, okay, I'm going to have to try and I'm going to have to try and save this somehow. All right, let's try again with the white. See, I've pushed a lot of pillow paint off here, so I don't know, I'm not sure how it's going to work. See if I can just touch into the blue a little bit. Now I've got this here. So this is why you shouldn't fiddle. You really shouldn't, but I didn't have a choice. It was going weird. redo that whole section there now. Maybe this is going to have to be a, a redo, hey? We'll see what happens once it's spun. Hopefully it'll be saved. Hopefully.
last little corner, take that right around. Okay, well, that's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Hopefully my best is good enough. I think it's kind of saved. I'll just let it sit there for a minute. Phew, that was nerve wracking. Okay, how's it looking? Yep, it's looking okay. All because I had a big blob of blue. <laughs> it's a blob of blue there. Don't touch it! No, I won't, I won't touch it. I actually like how I've got that little bit of blue through there. You know how the ocean kind of meets into the, the sand in some places? And then other times you've got little bits of sand coming through here. Look, I've got my aqua, yay! Yay. All right, I've given that enough time. Let's spin this baby. Cross your fingers for me. You see all that white that flew off? That was the white that was underneath that pillow and that's what moves. And because it moves, the paint on top can move. So if you don't have enough pillow to spread out underneath, your lacing is not going to grow. Okay, that is really pretty. I just want to get rid of that little line there. That there. Oh, and go the other way. Oh, here we go. That should be enough. Let's stop it. Can I put my fingers underneath? I'm catching the push pins actually. It's banging my finger. Yeah, look there. It got rid of it. That's perfect. Right. Oh my gosh. That was, that was hard, you guys. Oh, I really like that now. I don't even mind this little bit of blue, a little bit of water that's running through there. Now, um, let me just run my little palette knife underneath, catch the drips, and do you want me to show you the, this one's predecessor, the one I did before? Mm -hmm. And you can see the difference that having more pillow makes. Um, it's, like it's still pretty. I kind of know which one I prefer now. I think this one's better. Um, oops, tripping over plastic on the floor. This kind of moves because the paint wants to go that way. You sort of get a bit of a backwash there, but it's okay. I don't mind it. Now let me just grab this one. Oh yes, it's very different. Um, I'm just going to turn it so it's facing the same way as that one is. So you can see the difference. Now this cell activator that I just used now is one to one. So it's nice and thick. See the lacing, how prominent it is? See the lacing? Not very prominent, is it? It's very fine, delicate. It's kind of washing away. Look at that one. Now the... The dark blue, see how it's blending really nicely into the other blues? Now look at this blue, see how it's just kind of stayed? It hasn't blended. That's because I didn't push hard enough. I did up this end here, but when I started, I didn't push hard enough to get the blue to, you know, push right across the other colors. So it's very different. What do you think? Hmm? Do you have a preference? Maybe I should keep them both. See, I was going to scrape this guy and go again, but maybe they can go next to each other. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of pale there where I'm wriggling my thumb, and that one's got a little bit of pale down the bottom there. Now, let me just put him down, and I'll take you in for a close-up. There we go. Get my gloves off. Take, turn the lights off. Actually, is that showing a ring on there? Turn my lights off. There we go. Natural light. The painting can look a little bit glary with all the, um, the lights on. I like to do the pour with the lights on, but then I like to turn them off afterwards so that you can see the, you know, the final result. So this one had a little bit more of that um, raw sienna or whatever it is, the more of slightly orangey uh, look. Only because I'm running out of paint and I couldn't be bothered making any more pouring medium because I've run out of pouring medium and I'd have to make up a new batch of pouring medium and I thought, oh, what can I add? So I just added a little bit more of that sort of 
brown that had a little bit more orange in it. See the difference there? A little bit of orange in it. It's still pretty. But I think that was the only difference. And then on this side, because I was running out of navy, um, I've got a little bit of Payne's Grey as well in it. But look at that lacing. Oh, one to one, guys. Nice thick cell activator. I don't think if you're going to blow it, I don't know whether it would work as well because um, obviously blowing isn't going to spread it as well as my spinner will spread it. But um, yeah, if you're going to spin, I think we can get away with having a thicker mix, don't you? Like this. Move light, why are you in my way again? Look at that little stripe of blue going through there. I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. And we've got more blue here. So do you have a preference? Let me know which one you prefer. Not that it's going to make any difference really. They're done, aren't they? Can't change them now. Let's look at it this way. There we go. Righto. There we go. Three beach paws. Which one do you prefer? I do like the one-to-one -one cell activator. I must say that I'm quite impressed with that. Another quick little video, hey? 22 minutes. All right, I'll leave it at that. That's three I've done today. Woohoo, I'm on a roll. Not that you'll see them all in the same day. I'll probably <laughs> spread them out a little bit so that you don't get sick of them. But um, yeah, something else to do with your spinner. Have a go at swiping. Swiping and spinning, hey? Sure is fun. Look at that shine there on the window. Coming through the window. All right, I'll leave it at that. Uh, thank you all again for watching. Really appreciate you guys watching my videos. And um, stay safe. See you real soon. Bye for now.